Section 12, Attaching the Sidewall Fabric. 12.1. Loosen the two nuts on the bolts that go through the base plate poles, as well as the screws attaching the base plate anchor to the platform. From inside the yome, push outwards on the base plate anchor until the base of the sidewall covering is taut. Tighten both screws in the base plate anchors to the platform. 12.2 Install the optional anchoring straps to the outside of the yome. Start by removing the bolt in the base plate pole. If the outside edge of the base plate pole and the deck are not flush, you may need to bend the anchoring strap to fit the contour of your deck. 12.3 Replace the bolt through the anchoring strip into the base plate pole, replace the washer, and tighten the nut. 13.4 Then drill a hole in the side of the yome deck and attach the strap to the deck side with a lag bolt and washer. 12.3 Repeat step 12.1 and optionally 12.2 with the remaining corners until the bottom of the sidewall covering is taut. 12.4 Place the short base plate poles to the right and left of the door. These should be placed so that the angle cut into the base plate poles are facing up. Insert the bolts and tighten. 12.5 Attach the base plate poles to the platform, placing the screws provided through the pre-drilled holes in the base plate poles. 12.6 Optional Fabric Flashing On the outside of the yome, place the fabric flashing on the bolt on the base plate anchor. Pull the sidewall covering over the fabric flashing and put the large grommet on the same bolt. Place a washer and a nut on the bolt and tighten. Repeat this step on the remaining corners. 12.7 Using the provided screws, attach all the small grommets in the base of the sidewall covering to the base plate poles. 12.8 If you attach the optional fabric flashing in step 12.6, you will be screwing through the padding in the flashing. Finish attaching the bottom edge of the fabric flashing by stapling it to the underside of your deck. 12.8 Lacing up the top of the sidewalls, slide the S-hooks along the top plate pull cable to be lined up with the grommets in the sidewall covering. Make a loop at the end of the lacing rope and place it through the grommet closest to any corner bolt assembly. Pass this loop from the inside of the sidewall covering to the outside, behind and over the top plate pull and onto the closest S-hook. 12.9 Thread another loop through the next grommet in the sidewall from the inside to the outside, behind and over the top plate pole, and onto the second hook on the cable. Repeat this sequence going down the line of grommets and S-hooks. 12.10 
It is likely you will run out of slack rope at some point. When this happens, starting at the beginning of the lacing rope, tug on the rope between the grommets to tighten it to the top plate pull while pushing out and up on the grommet towards the beginning of the rope. This will give you enough slack to finish lacing that section. Twelve point ten. Now that you have more rope, finish lacing to the end of the section. Pull the remaining length of rope tight and slide the white toggle to secure the rope. Tie off the end of the rope by making a loop, twisting it once, and place it over the toggle and tighten it to secure the toggle in place. Wrap any excess rope to the lacing to keep it out of the way. 12.11. Repeat steps 12.8 to 12.10 for each section of sidewall covering. Note, removing the Velcro strip above the door or using a ladder to reach over the door will make lacing up the sidewalls on either side of the door easier. 12.12. 